This is James Holder for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm in Manchester today on the Carl Frampton versus Scott Quigg card. With me, I've got Comrade Cummins. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, thanks. How are you, Jim? I'm keep... very well. I'm very well. I want to talk to you a little bit about your fight. You was on second tonight. Yeah. Good performance from yourself. Could, yeah. you, could you talk me through the fight a little bit? No problem, James. Um, yeah, good performance. Um, a bit late change of opponent. Oh, yeah. That's never nice. But um, I get in there. Uh, we're supposed to do actually eight rounds. But it was changed last minute to six for one reason or another. Um, just warming in it nicely. I'm, I'm a fail. Um, I dropped him heavily in the last round. It probably should have been stopped. He, he seen he seen through to the final bell. But nice short performance. Uh, back at it. Uh, back up the championship rounds. I think ten rounds, twelve rounds, where I belong. I'm gonna say that for, from being sort of in the championship rounds, it must be hard to come back to doing six rounds and get that motivation to sort of impress over six rounds, if you like. Yeah, well, I think at the start, James, I was almost you know maybe looking for the lockout too much, and uh, oh. but actually when I just settled down, third round, fourth round, fifth and sixth were my best rounds. The last two were brilliant, and I, he was exhausted. Where I was really only getting going, and the last round I, I dropped him. Very, very heavily. You know, he walked to the wrong corner. It should have been stopped, but the bell went. Um, so what was Roberts? Shane McGuigan's come to the forefront of sort of young British trainers, if you like, over the last sort of 12 months. What, what's he like to be around day in, day out? And sort of how valuable of an asset is he to, to yourself? He's a, he's a massive uh, asset to me uh, personally. He's, um, I can be a uh, bit of a live wire and he uh, keeps, keeps me calm. Um, for such a, you know, such a young trainer, he's got wise uh, head and shoulders. I love working with him, I love working with the whole team, training alongside Kjarl, and uh, it's just really almost up for everyone. Looking forward to seeing Kjarl's big performance tonight. Talk a little bit about the main event. If this is going out after the main event, I do apologise, but I can't help but speak about it. How, how do you see it? Being part of Team Frampton, this week's been fantastic. What's it been like being part of the camp, if you like? It's an honour to be part of the whole, the whole camp, the whole build-up, training alongside Kjarl, and that's where I want to be, the very top. Obviously, I've a while to, 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 get, to get there, but... Um, just enjoying the ride, uh, embracing it all, and uh, looking forward to the wee man's performance tonight. He's gonna, he's gonna do a number quick. Sorry, all you English fans. <laughs> the thing is, I've been getting this all week. Carl Frampton is technically British because he's Northern Irish. So <laughs> you gotta watch what you say here, no, sir. Carl Frampton claims he is te technically Northern Irish. I don't know what that actually is, to be honest. But uh, you know, so whatever. Can't, can't get too deep into that, it no, is no, what it is. If he, if he says he's Irish, he's Irish for me. That's, that's different, we'll see how that's too yeah. What's it like having the likes of David Hay and George Groves join the camp and how much sort of interaction do you have day in, day out with those sort of guys? Uh, a lot of interaction day in, day out. I'm training either in David Hay's gym or George's gym at the moment, as Shane uh, yeah. is changing gyms at the minute. Yeah. Um, two lovely guys, very down to earth. Um, obviously they're at the, the pinnacle of the game so to speak and I, I know that's where I want to finish up um, it's great and a, a nice guy like, you know, simple things they give you a tax George came to change room before my fight wished me luck you know, came in after uh, nice guys and you know, made me feel very at home in their gyms and uh, it's great everyone's buzzing bounced off each other and uh, good times ahead I know you've got a really good relationship with Carl Frampton. He's such a funny guy. Yeah. I saw an Instagram video impression he did of you the other day, and it was spot on, to be honest. <laughs> I was laughing my head off for a few hours. That, that, that was very good. Uh, to, to be honest, when I watched it, I was generally laughing out loud. It was, it was, it was the filter he put on it as it well, his little face. And it, was, it was very, very good. He's very, very witty, very funny, very nice guy. Uh, you, know, you know, even when I'm out of camp, I go to his house and we do a bit of training. You know, yeah. just a... Such a humble guy, you know. For such, for just, he's a star, you know, and uh, it's great. I'm just so honoured to be a part of the whole thing, you know. To be honest. So speaking of sort of funny guys, Scott Quigg's crapped me up this week. He's been a comedy genius. His, been, his timing for comedy has, has been, been impeccable, to be honest. He, um, he's normally not that witty, but he, he generally he's impressed me this week with some of his uh, his one liners. Um, I think he's been practicing them, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, look, as a boxing fan, never mind being friends with Kyle from or in the stable. I'm really looking forward to this. Right? Two world-class fighters yeah. and made the best man win. Listen, Conrad Cummings, I cannot thank you enough for coming back no and finding us, seeking us out to have a chat. It's a great pleasure, <laughs> pleasure. to get you on again, sir. My pleasure. I look forward to doing it again soon. You're a top man. Thank you for your time, Conrad. Thank you.